Hey, where are you going? Um, to the boat. <laughs> Go to the boat, getting everything together. Um, you forgot the, the Phantom 3. I forgot the what? Phantom 3. Oh. You got it all ready okay. to go. And... Yep, let me go get that. Okay. Like my jugs? plan is to take the Carver out tomorrow morning. We haven't had her out in a while, so we want to give her a spin around town, maybe head up to Delaware to Bristol, get lunch, and just uh, just work out any of the kinks. She's been sitting there a little while, a couple of months without use, and uh, well, we enjoy taking her out anyway, so we're looking forward to it, and hopefully the weather will be better tomorrow. But we're stopping at uh, Advance Auto on the way because we're going to pick up a couple of new batteries for the Carver. Uh, the batteries on her are about five, six years old, and they're about due to be replaced. And I just want to make sure that we don't have any issues. So, just a little bit of advanced maintenance, and uh, we look forward to getting around on the water. got wet but we got a great deal on some batteries the Carver takes the 27 series batteries fortunately not the huge ones that we have on the uh, on the Hatteras and they um, they had a good deal on the batteries here uh, deep cycle marine batteries 7 series were $116 and they had two $20 coupons for us so we actually got them for $96 so you can't beat that we're gonna take them to the boat and install them tomorrow plus you get $20 back when you bring your old battery back. So technically that's 40, correct? Off which one? No, because they would have charged me a dud. In other words, the $20 coupon they gave me offset the $20 dud fee. Uh, so I really right now paid 116, but when I bring them back, I'm going to get my 20 bucks back uh, off the duds. So Oh, sweet. So, so either way it comes out to $96. Well, I was confused. But now I'm not. Do you think uh, West Marine would have charged for those batteries? I know they have competitive prices, but they're West Marine batteries, so yeah, you so can't you, really compete on them. Yeah, so th that's what they sell. So uh, their price for a similar battery, uh, 27 series, is like 150 160 something like that. Now, it, for all I know, it's a better battery that they're selling. I don't know. I really don't know how to tell what battery is better. Everyone's got a different opinion. All I know is this. These batteries are not getting used much right now. And um, they're 27 series. We'll see. I don't know how long we're going to own the boat. If we're going to see, or maybe the next owner will see how long they last. But it's just preventative maintenance anyway. They're going to be better than what's on the boat. And hopefully you get four or five years out of them before they need to be changed. Because the last time they were changed on the carver was sometime with the old owner. Yeah, a couple. We don't actually know that. No, but it was at least a couple of years prior to us buying the boat because they weren't brand new when we bought the boat. And we've owned the boat for three years. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to assume five, six, maybe even seven years old. I don't really know. Uh, and they're not dead yet, but they're getting pretty weak. And so I think it's time. We're changing out one set now, and maybe I'll change out. There's four batteries all together. Uh, I think the boat originally came with just one battery on each side, and I think they had the 31 series, and there was just one for each engine. Um, and I think the previous owner switched it over to two 27 series running parallel for each engine. So I'm staying with that in either case. So I think we have a little more battery power on the boat than we originally were, was required anyway. But we're just going to keep it the way it is. We know it works well that way. So. 
And now we're back off to the boat. Right. Should be there in about 20 minutes, hopefully, depending on how slow everyone drives in this and, rain. And so. that ding ding is because I don't have my seatbelt. No, it's because I don't have my seatbelt on, too. Oh, yeah. So the car's freaking out. Okay. You can no longer drive a car without a seatbelt anymore. Yeah. Not too hard to reach the batteries. It'd be a little bit more convenient, but you can do it without climbing down. We have three on that lower level there. Two are for one engine, or actually one. The engines are kind of split. That one and this one is an engine, and then there's one in the back and one in the back here that's an engine. The fifth one is for the generator. I'm going to replace one battery on each engine and then probably later on in the season I'll probably pick up two more and switch the others out but at least for now I'm getting there. She started, so let's see how she goes. Well, that took two seconds. Okay. And that took two seconds. Let's go make sure there's no smoke. Not a puff. For all the time it's been sitting, I would have expected there would be a little puff of blue, but. These engines are cool. Yeah. Absolutely not. The engines have been very good to us. But we also have been very good to the engines at the same yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's well cared for. But uh, oil's great. Water, coolant's all good. But, yeah, she's been sitting because we've been on the other boat all this time. Um, so I'm really... Really glad to see her pop trick up like that. That was nothing. Woohoo, guess who's going out? Yeah, we're going to take her out um, soon. Probably today. Your hair is 
so we're here in Bristol Borough. Uh, it's about 12 miles, perhaps, upstream on the Delaware from Philadelphia. Uh, it's a town that I was born in, actually, so I've spent a lot of time here when I was younger. Lynn and I have run our photography companies uh, here in Bristol Borough. It's a nice little town. They just built these docks, which are fantastic. In fact, they're overkill, really, when you look at them. But it's a little place to stop off up to Delaware. There's a couple of uh, restaurants right here on the corner.